What's up guys? Today I'm here to teach you all how to drive a manual transmission car. Um, now it's not it's not too hard uh, once you get going, but it's it's really hard when you uh, get started. So yeah, so let's go into it. First thing I'm going to show you is kind of just the differences in the, in the car. Um, a lot of the stuff you might already know, but I'll just cover it just to uh, be thorough. So and that's why I'm wearing this goofy looking um, you know, chest mount thing. I'm going to try to get you guys a good, good view on my gauges and stuff when we get doing this. So, yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first big difference you'll know is the difference in the pedals. Now, on the right, you have your accelerator, like you normally would. In the middle is your brake. And that pedal to the left is your clutch pedal, right here. And this big guy right here is not a pedal. It's just a dead, called a dead pedal. And basically, it's where you put your foot when you're using the clutch. So you're going to go from there to your clutch and then when you're not using clutch you leave it there. Sorry for the hairy legs but that's just the way God made me. Okay so now looking over here we have the uh, gear shifter and the other difference here is you have an e-brake which basically you're going to be using anytime you're parking. Um, there's, no rever there's no park gear or anything to get into so this guy right here is your parking brake. Also, when you're parked, you want to leave it in gear. Um, I usually do second gear. It doesn't really matter. First gear, second gear. You want to leave it parked in like this position. So that way your car will not roll away. All right, guys. So let's get more into the gear shifter. Now, I have I put out my stock gear shifter. So just so you guys can see the uh, geared pattern that's on there. Um, you know, I, mine's a five-speed. So, so there's five. On a six-speed, um, you know, you'd have the six below the five and then your reverse would be where the, I guess, eight would be. Um, some, some cars are different. Some cars have reverse to the uh, left of first gear, or yeah, to the left of first gear. So it really all depends on your car, but that's this is pretty much a standard way it goes. So yeah, so um, the first thing I'd say for you guys to do is kind of get in your car, um, you know, and get used to just feeling where all your gears are, just go through them all. Um, and just kind of just be familiar where they are because every car is a little bit different. Um, and neutral. Neutral is is between all those gears. So you bring this back. The where the horizontal line is, anywhere that it, where your gear is in that position is going to be neutral. And that's very important when you're driving stick. Um, so if you're able to move the the gear shifter back and forth like this, you know you're in neutral. So that's why if you see someone driving uh, manual, you'll notice that they'll be doing that a lot because that's just why they want to make sure they're in neutral. Okay, so let's get this thing started. Um, keys are in the ignition, ready to go. So um, first thing you got to do is you always have to start with the clutch pedal to the floor. Uh, the car will not start without it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So now that we're in neutral, I can take my foot off that clutch pedal. Um, if you are stopped and you are in gear, you cannot let go of that clutch pedal. You will stall. Safety first, of course. I, I wanted to get a good view of these of the uh, gauges here because I think you can see them pretty good. But uh, yeah, your gauges are super important. Um, that's why on this car, you see um, my RPMs are the biggest gauge in right in the middle of the car because that's what you're mainly going to be looking at. Um, basically the way this is going to work is when you first start out you're going to have you're going to give it some gas and then probably right about mine's usually around 2000 some cars are different mine's my car's able to drive so it cries a little bit more gas get going but somewhere around here and once you're going to get it to about you know maybe there or so you're going to slowly let out your clutch pedal um, and as you let out your clutch pedal you will feel the car kind of start to grab you. Um, I'm actually going to get to a parking lot here so you guys can see, uh, so I can do some start and stops, you know, so you guys can see how that works. But that is by far the hardest part. The hardest part is starting out. Um, once you get going, it's a lot harder to stall the vehicle. And uh, yeah, so, so you got to get your start and stops down. All right, guys, before you can even get driving, I think you first got to understand how everything works. Uh, especially with the clutch. So that's kind of some things I want to go over first. Um, one of the most important things is knowing where your clutch's 
friction point is or its engagement point. So basically when your clutch is pushed to the floor, it's disengaged with the power. And when it's out, it's engaging with the power. Uh, and the friction zone is gonna be somewhere in the middle there. So when, you, when you're starting in first gear and you have your clutch all the way to the floor, you're gonna slowly pull out. <laughs> you're gonna slowly pull your foot off and your, your car will catch and uh, kind of start to move forward and grab you. So that's gonna be where your friction point is. And the first step is finding where that is. So let's get going here. I'm gonna start my car up and then you guys can see where my is and, and how, to f how to find uh, that friction point. Okay, so right now I'm in, I'm in first gear and I'm gonna try to find the friction point. So I'm gonna slowly take my, I'm gonna take my foot off the brake and then slowly pull that clutch out. And right there, my car is slowly creeping forward. And I push that back in. So get a good feeling for this. Keep doing this over and over again until you are familiar where your friction point is. Right there, and push it back in. Okay, so now that you found your friction point, you're going to keep doing that over and over again until you can get comfortable uh, with that zone. And basically, your foot's going to come off. If you keep, more and more you do this, your foot's going to start to go right to that zone. So get, keep practicing that and get better at it. All right, guys, so we're going to start with our first takeoff. I have my clutch in. I'm going to go to first gear, and I'm going to bring my RPMs up to about almost 2,000 as I get my car to that friction point and keep letting out the clutch and we're going okay so that would work good so let's stop clutch in brake and we're still in first gear so let's try it again so the one basically what you're going to do is you're giving it a little bit of gas as you're letting out to that friction point now once your car hits that friction point and it starts to move you're going to continue giving it a little bit more gas as you pull the clutch off and you should be rolling and then to stop, put your clutch all the way in and brake until you come to a stop. Okay, so once you guys are in first gear and you're rolling in first gear and you're having no problem, then you're gonna shift to second gear. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna let off the gas and then put the clutch on. Once your clutch is all the way down, you're gonna go to second gear. And then it's basically gonna be the same thing. You're gonna let off the clutch as you give it gas and boom, you're in second gear. Once you're in second gear, you want to go to third gear, same thing. Let off the gas, put your clutch in, <laughs> whoops, put your clutch in, go to third gear, same thing, and you're off. So let's do that. I'm going to go all the way up. I'll try to get up to third gear. So we're in first gear, clutch is in, and off the brake, and we're going to get that to the friction point, and we're off, and we're in first gear. Now I'm going to try to get to second gear, off the gas, clutch in, second, same thing. And we're in second gear. Now hold on, I will try to get into third gear. Get a little bit more speed going. And we're going to third gear. So off the gas, clutch in, up to third, and feather it back. And you're good. Now let's say we're coming to a stop sign and we want to stop. Hit your brake, clutch in until you're stopped and we're in neutral. So I can let off the clutch. Now let's say we're at a light and I wanna get going again. Light turns green, clutch in, first gear, give it some gas and friction zone and we're going. Oh, and there's a car coming. I don't wanna kill this guy. Okay, so we're, <laughs> he looked at me really funny. <laughs> um, so first gear, off the gas, clutch in, second, and feather him back. And we're in second gear. So that's basically how you get going. And obviously stopping. Now, one thing you couldn't do is you can't go real slow in gear. And boom, it, and we stalled. And what I didn't do there, just to show, that I really didn't want to do, but I just showed you guys that can stall. Now, one thing I did is I stopped completely and I didn't touch the clutch. When you're stopping and your car's in gear, you have to have the clutch in. Okay, so we just stalled. What do we do? We don't panic. We put our car in whatever, put a car back in the first gear, put your clutch in, 
and start it up like, well, first you turn the ignition off and then you start it back up like you normally would. And you can go from there. Now, it can kind of be scary stalling in traffic because obviously, um, you know, there's people behind you. I've had times where people have honked at me and it is nerve wracking, but don't panic. Just don't try to rush yourself because the more you rush yourself, the uh, more you'll screw up. So go into a parking lot and just get everything down really well before you take it to the streets. All right, so we're gonna take this bad boy to the streets. Okay, so I'm gonna go to first gear. Going. And clutch in, second gear. Clutch in, third gear. Now, going to a turn like this, um, normally I would go to second gear, so I'll just do a clutch in, go to my second gear, go through the turn, and let out the clutch. And boom, we're in second gear. So that's basically, you know, the basics on how to get going and how to get started. It will take you a long time to, uh, to get used to it. It took me a hell of a long time. Just remember to not get frustrated. Um, it's gonna take a lot of work uh, to get it good. I know me personally, I really wasn't 100% confident in driving um, my car for probably a good two weeks. I was probably um, really nervous and stuff and probably actually a whole month b went by before I ever um, you know, stopped worrying about stalling and was completely 100% good. Um, so yeah, it's going to take a lot of practice and a lot of time, but I hope this really helps you guys. If you want to see more videos like this, or just see me driving this car, if you want to see me driving a transmission car, visit my channel. I have a lot of videos of me just driving. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.